The mimics are fine and dandy, but if the mimics are walking around before you even get to the chest, then what's the point of having mimics in your game? I mean, the point of a mimic is to mimic a chest, am I not, right? What the hell? Did she, did she just throw a bomb at me and I picked it up? Like that's not an issue? I ain't killed the man yet. Oh, that was the steal item in effect. We stole the bomb he was gonna drop. That seems... This is like a really strong effect, in my opinion. That you have a chance to steal the item they're holding on attack. So could you technically farm items that way? Just take a bandit, bandit whatever weapon, lower the damage on it, or like just not really put a bunch of damage on it so you're hitting like a bunch of low numbers. Ow. And then just, you know, just attack something repeatedly. I mean, you can't really attack it repeat. I don't think you can steal it more than once. But you, you know, go shoot all the stuff, get all the items, Leave the floor, come back. I'm not really leave the floor, but uh, for the back floor, come back. Or hell, hell, even better, stone key. What's the stone key used for? Oh, never mind. Even better, go to a back floor. I'm freaking uh, steal all the. What are the crabby hermit? Dead. I should probably be killing these anyways. We need that yet. We need this EXP. I mean, neglecting the EXP, though. Okay, okay, now apparently I just can't avoid the explosions at this point. It's too much. Hello, friend. Okay, you, you really want some mimic. Fight me. Dead. Get out of my face. Oh, yay. Another John Feather. Perfect. I'm starting to feel a little slow. Now I don't actually have to leave to buy one. Yay. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Your place is to... Okay, I'll stop. I won't actually stop, though. One of my favorite songs from the Sonic universe. I mean, if, you, if you're a fan of Sonic, you obviously know that song. No one can't know that song. It's the best song. Why is it every time I change my element back to fire, you always show up? Maybe I should just, let's just not touch the element at all. In fact, wait a minute, we got Holy as a really high element on this sword. Let's use it. Hey, Holy hits really good, good amount on this guy. But I'm pretty sure Ice hits higher. Yeah, Holy do good against everything in here. I mean, mummies are technically undead. I don't really see a, a crabs resisting Holy damage for any reason. Bomb men are just bombs. Yeah, just... just we're fine. Probably should heal though. Probably should definitely heal. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Oh yeah, I never really saw what the what the thirst effect meant. You know? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Is there any way I can look at the effect on it? Just says thirst. I wish I knew what that meant. This is no way for me to know. Well, bomb guys take the take the damage fairly well, but eh. No worries. Yeah, I don't know what thirst does. I thought it said something about it takes 
thirst for power or something like that. I don't really remember what it said, but... Whatever it is, I'm sure it's a decent trade-off. For reasons of which I cannot explain right now. Other than the fact that I really like to hit high numbers in these type of games, so I can uh, clear quickly. Even though going fast is not really the, you know, the point of the game. It's much more satisfying for me to hit something and... Oh, we're about to get hit by something and die. You got the flop. Hold up. Ah, he dodged. Gone. Oh, oh. What if I jump attack you? Jump attack! Still got hit by it, unfortunately. Got hit by that too. And once again, it is still unfortunate. Need more rare candy, man. Give me more rare candies. I like when I find those. I call them rare candy because I think that's basically what it is. Yeah, level up powders are the rare candy in this game. I think they need that type of item in every every level up RPG. Just an item that levels you up instantly. I don't care what you call it, just put it in every game. You wouldn't think they would work in a game like you know like this, but yeah, you know it does surprisingly well, at least with this upgrade system intact. Cause there are no actual levels in this game, so you kinda need something. And for a game with no leveling system, it's definitely a cool concept. It works surprisingly well. Is that a yellow magic circle? Did you recolor the magic circle? Thinking I would just fall for it and just run into it again? Well, I was born yesterday. The moment I try and fall for these magic circles again, you're just gonna screw me over. Yep, you're just a normal magic circle. I expect anything new from you, silly magic circles. I'm done gambling on you all. Especially when you made me waste a slot trying to get my magic points back up. Which I mean I guess in reality didn't really waste any points at all, because then I just, you know, went ahead and Windmilled! Ah, and then we still got popped. Of course. The upside. Lots of stuff I can NPC later. Even though I, I'm, I was told not to NPC after stuff, I'm probably gonna NPC after stuff just to clear my inventory out. Even if we just got, you know, 10 more inventory slots. Still clogs my inventory. And I need money. No, money doesn't really do much for me in this game. It'll allow me to buy gems so I can put them on my stuff. If I had to sell gems to get gems, then guess what? Well, guess who's selling gems? Me! First, a quick trip to the water fountain. Yeah, hopefully this series has been okay for you guys. I know, you know, the town building processes aren't exactly the greatest thing to watch, but... Oh, yeah, I've been cutting them so well, you know, all the town building parts are in one one part so you guys don't have to worry about like six six parts in a row being nothing but town building because that would really be boring oh, hello gold bro something's going on up there looks like some geek snuck in wanna go get him fired up and ready to serve <laughs> take it easy brother let's just have a talk with Let's just have a talk with to settle this. That poor geek must have a good reason to have come all the way here. Oh, you're such a wuss, girl. Hey, bro, do you speak that human's language? 
I have no choice. This is our destiny. Let's do it, brother. Wait, yeah. I got those voices mixed up. Oh, hello, friends. Well, this is gonna take a lot of, uh... Durability. So we got Syl. I'm gonna kill Syl first. Oh, Syl's gonna die. Syl's just gonna flop. Goodbye, Syl. Well, sorry, Goal. You actually seem pretty cool. But, um... It's like you have to die. Unfort. Also, my attacks do flinch them. But not for very much. And it usually always makes them stomp afterwards. Also, Goal seems tankier than his brother, but he's still dead. Done. Alright, now. Black wind bars the way. If it could be blown away, we could get through. So, once again, as I figured, we're gonna have to leave. What's this music? You guys ready to come yet? I didn't say Makara. I'm so sorry. I must save her now. Um, okay. Hey, Dan, I saw a shooting star. That's a good sign. We might get lucky. Maybe Ugago or regain this car. Oh, God, I have to build the freaking town, don't I? That's fine. I'll build the town. Ooh, Stonebreaker. Nice. Yeah, every bit of Stonebreaker could take me one step closer to being having enough Stonebreaker. Oh, we're only at 20 Stonebreaker. Oh, we're never, we're nowhere close to getting enough Stonebreaker. Now, would you say it was off to the west? I mean, I don't really know the direction in this game, seeing as I thought, you know, west was one way last time and it wasn't. So, uh, you yeah, know, I'm just gonna walk places and hope I find it. Muscaraca. Let's see what we're working with here. A wide open de- Is it really just nothing but wide open desert? Hey, wow, it really is. I was like, I didn't know I could see treasure chest on the map. Alright. Is that it? Hello? Someone live here? Someone's house is already here. Hello? Is anyone alive? No? I didn't think so. I saw your chicken though, so uh... Goodbye. This deserted house just has some... Some... Full cooked chicken in there. Mm. What a waste. Well, guess I don't have a choice. Guess it's time to start building. At least till we get a uh, what's his face back in here. Well, I guess we're gonna have to build a leader's house if anything. Fluffy donut, nice. Witch parfait, nice. I assume that's for Ruby. I'll take my donut though. Ah, nice. And shall I take her fish candy? Ah, nice. And then uh, you'll take your uh, witch parfait. Ah, nice. And you also take another gourd size. Or maybe I will. Maybe I wanted the gourd size. Alright. Alright, let's get this started. What we, what we got so far? Got some roads. Got Jabubu's house. I like that name. Jabubu. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that name. Oh man, that's funny. Alright. Oh, that's not what goes there. This is what goes there. Right. Where's Jabubu? It's very racist. <laughs> so not mess with you. Oh man. Of course, the only black people in this game got all the weird names. <laughs> I wouldn't make all these jokes. I'm not gonna make these jokes. Alright. Anyway, I'm not going that type of humor, bruh. Anyway. Jabubu, you're up first. Your house is down. Well, I've never seen you before. Aha, I see. It's you, the boy I hear about stirring things up. My name is Jabubu. Pleasure to meet you. What do you have? Keep, Just keep the custom of the pole guardian. Ask the chief about the details. Wait, what? 
Place the hay for the roof by the house and don't forget about the totem. Wait. Keep the customs of what? Keep the custom of the pole guardian. Ask the chief about the details. What the hell is the pole guardian? I, I'm just gonna... I'm really just gonna assume that I already... Nope. <laughs> Maybe I already saw this guy's issue, but... Uh, let's go ahead and just give him a totem pole and... Hey, and uh, trigger his event already. Why? I don't understand. But why? Why? Oh? Why someone like someone jumping off the roofs? Hi there. Looking at my house return to normal, I just felt like screaming. So, why don't you come in? I really appreciate this. Thanks to you. Now I can live my ordinary life again. I might be the only one here, but you know, it sucks. Ooh, a fruit of eating. Nice. I'm just gonna eat that right now. By the way, have you noticed something seems wrong here? The aesthetic sense that they have here in Muskalaka is not very good. That Ungaka is regarded as handsome and desirable. And I'm regarded as plain looking? Shouldn't they take a better look at me? Come on! What's the definition of beauty anyway? Does such a thing really exist? No, because it's derived from people's personal views. Therefore, the one who is seen as beautiful by more people is beautiful. But wait, that means I am plain looking after all. No, that can't be! Well, you, you almost had some good morals there. Almost. Ah, why? Oh my god. You, you, almost, you almost had something I, I can relate to. Almost. I'm kind of in the same scenario. Yeah. People call the guys handsome all the time. Or girls call other guys handsome and good looking all the time. But I don't, I don't, I don't fall into that category. Why? <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. It's hilarious. Alright, anyway. He's not, I don't really know what his thing's gonna be, so we won't worry about that right now. Three sisters house. Alright. You go there. You go there. And you go there, I guess. And I guess we'll put you down right next to you until I figure out what I want you, what you guys need. So uh, there you go. You guys can be neighbors. Attachment bag is full. What? Oh no! I forgot this bag could actually fill up. Not good. What the NPC? Some of this crap. Hang on a second. I'm gonna toss the MP one. I don't think these are as important. Ice. All right, you know, elements are, are nice. Attachment bag is still full. Oh my goodness. Not good. I want to toss like, a few more of these mana magic point ones. It seems I get more magic points from just you know throwing synth spears in versus you know actually using the mana point one or mana magic whatever thingy. Hey little boy, hiya. I'm Devia, the middle sister of the three sisters. Nice to meet ya. What do you need? I feel bad because Nagida always forces Makara to draw, draw water, so you keep putting it near the oasis. Also, don't forget the pole guardian. What the fuck is this pole guardian? Install a cabin. Okay. Sounds good. Now, what do you want? You! What do you want from this village? I'm Nagida, the eldest of three sisters. Don't you forget that. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Be near the oasis. Alright. I put many of my dresses in my uh don't forget uh whatever I don't know what she just said, but you can you can have it. Now where's your where's your youngest sister? There's one wait. Hello? Did I talk to you already? I did. I didn't talk to the youngest one. Hey, where'd she go? She was just up here. Was she not? This is the wrong house? Am I going crazy? No, I already talked to you. Where's Nakara? No. I was just looking at this woman. Where the hell? 
I'm not going crazy. Am I? Alright, I think I might be going crazy. Hang on a second. Where's she have gotten so fast, man? There's no way. Oh, she's still over there. What the? How did I look over that? I watch her move because it's nighttime now. You know, it's not very. Oh, yep, of course. Of course. Hey, where's your sis go? Hello? There you are. How do you do? Welcome to Muskelaka. I'm Makara, the baby of the three sisters. It's a pleasure to meet you. What do you need? Yeah, Oasis. We need your home. Please keep the tradition of the pole guardian. I don't want that. What does that mean? I guess I'll find out soon enough. I haven't put the cheese house together back yet, so. Alright. Oh, wait. That goes there. What goes here? The cabin? What is that? Oh, this. Yeah. Alright. Put your house I still don't know what the, what the pole guardian means. I imagine maybe all the totems have to face a certain way. Oh, Dan, welcome. Wow, pretty sharp kid. Come to collect his reward already. Sorry, I can't help you. Shall I give you some candy, dear? No. I like how that looks. It's like, no, that's not what I want. Oh, sis, they didn't come here for that. Don't be mean. Oh, did you hear that? Here we go again. My car's got this bad habit of vilifying people. I didn't mean it that way. I Stop it, both of you. You two are always fighting lately. Makara, you're alive! Wait. I thought it was Makala, not Makara. Was it not Makayla? Just a while ago, and now it's Makara? Makara? Okay, I'm not going crazy, I swear to God. It was Makayla over there. I will go back. Please not here, no mushy stuff. Gaga, you tell me. Why Makara? I'm better at everything than Makara, so why not me? Jealous. Makara, 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 always Makara. Tell me, why is that? There are things Makara does better than you, Nikita, so she's who I want to be with. That's such a stupid reason. So, okay, fine. Then let me ask you something. What does Makara do better than me exactly? Okay, I'll tell you all. At last, the secret will be known. It was a year ago. I was stung by a scorpion. She sucked the poison out. It was nice. <laughs> so done. This is it. I'm finished. A scorpion sting. I will die. What's the matter? Mr. Ngaga, are you alright? Nikita. A scorpion got me. I won't live much longer. I'll call the doctor right away. Stay here. No time. Stay, Nikita. Don't want to die this. Wait, now it's Nikita now? What the hell? I'll, I'll call the doctor. Stay here. Mr. Ngaga? Mr. Ngaga? Wait, what? What is happening right now? Master Ngaga, what are you doing here? A scorpion got me. I will die soon. Stay by me for a while, Makara. I won't last much longer. It's my last wish. Stay, Makara, by dying in Gaga. Thank you, Makara. Oh, damn. Get slapped. Silly, you're the strongest warrior in the desert. Who will protect Muskalaka when you're gone? Scorpion's venom. Nothing can be done. I'm dying. From a scorpion. Really? Mr. Ngaga, we need you here in Muskalaka, and I need you too. What, what, whoa, 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 What are you doing? Don't do that, Makara, you'll kill yourself. Stop, Makara. Yeah, I figured, I figured that was happening. I, I called it, I literally called it. She sucked out the venom like you're supposed to. 
She sucks something else too. But I'm wow. Let me see them Lenny faces in the comments right now. I know that's coming. Uh, okay. Makara sucked the poison from me and she became infected. Makara was dying and fought for three days. She risked her life to save me. If it weren't for her, I probably wouldn't be here. Really? So that's what happened. Makara has incredible courage. No one can match it. Not even me. I fell in love with Makara. Girl looks like she's like 10. Like seriously. Hmm, <clears throat> now I see. So that's why Makara was lying there too when I brought the doctor to you. And Makara probably asked some Gaga not to say anything about it, huh? Well, I guess. Makara, I admit it. I could never have acted as brazily as you did. You are the one for Ngaga. There's really no room for me between you two. I'm not allowed. She looks like she's 10. And you look like you're like 50. So there, there's something wrong there, okay? Something, something wrong here. Damn, take me with you. We'll beat that evil wizard. I understand now what Theo was trying to say. I forgot this. Real strength doesn't come from your fists. It comes from your heart. Theo and Makara help me remember that. And Gaga will try once more to become the strongest warrior. Of course he uses a spear. Call that too. Or is that a pole? Pole, spear, same difference. Long distance weapon, whatever. I'll be with Makara for just a while, Dan. You go ahead, I'll catch up. I... What? Alright. Alright. Most predictable story ever.